Cows are one of the three animals in Farming and Friends, and I'm going to tell you all the positives and, ne and negatives about them, and whether or not you should get them. First of all, cows produce uh, milk, which you can sell at the animal store for 500 per milk for free range, or 300 for regular, and only 26 for spoiled milk. It is very easy not to produce spoiled milk, so you shouldn't worry about it. As well, unlike sheep over here, who can only go up to 100%, you know, one batch of wool is all you can farm at once. As you can see here, it only will produce one wool when you use uh, when you shear it. Whilst cows, when you can when you transport them. Uh, to the barn, they will give you three milks. Another good thing about cows is that you can get automatic barns, like this one that I've got here, which automatically puts the milk into here. Other barns that don't have automatic milk dispensers, they, the milk is put over here and can take a long time for you to put it in. So I recommend getting one of the automatic barns like this one here, even if they're double the price. Uh, they are much better though, but I, I would strongly recommend buying them. As you can see, this wooden barn is 32,000, but the automatic one is 64,000. Once you put the cow into the barn, you can uh, milk it over here simply and then the milk will either be put around there or it will be automatically put into your uh, milk truck or milk carrier like what happened there. Uh, cows are one of the easier things to manage because they can automatically because they automatically produce milk and can produce up to three times. Well they eat a medium amount of food similar to the amount of food sheep eat, so it doesn't really uh, waste all your food supply. And as well, food is quite cheap in the game, so you won't have to worry if it, if a uh, one goes, if a tub goes empty, as they only cost around 450 of the in-game currency to purchase. Also, you can select up to multiple cows at once, like I'm doing now, and you can transport them all into the barn, like this. Once all, all the cows are put into the barn, you can milk them and get all of their milk very easily. Another benefit of having cows is that you can use the milk that you get there and make chocolate milk out of it. Chocolate milk, you can sell chocolate milk uh, at the animal store like you sell normal milk. Except you also need coca uh, to make a chocolate milk. But each chocolate milk is valued at around 20,000 uh, in-game currency, which is very, very good compared to normal milk, which is only 500. There are three different tiers of the cows. You get the spoiled milk like this cow. You never want to milk it then because the milk is technically worthless. And then you get the free range which is the good one that you should always strive for. There we go, I'm just quickly letting all the cows out of the barn. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the overpowered chocolate milk. You can get milk from the cows as I just showed you and the other way to get the really good chocolate milk which I, sh I highly recommend you all getting is by going into the uh, wood, wood store ne which is next to the animal store and buying coca seeds for 70,000 coins per 50 coca trees. These coca trees are good though because once you cut them down uh, once you harvest from them, you, nev you don't lose the coca, which is good. Unfortunately though, the, the machine used to harvest it is very expensive and costs 140000 So to get your first coca tree, 
you're gonna need around maybe 120, uh, 220,000 to start, you know, harvesting a tiny bit of coca. So that's one of the other negatives. That's why I suggest you have sheep first before you get the cows, because the sheep, uh, they, what's it called? They produce wool very easily and don't need much maintaining. Although when you get coca in big groups, you can produce lots of chocolate milk, which is very, very good. Let me just quickly harvest the rest of this. There we go. The coca harvesting machine has a capacity of around 100, as you can see at the bottom. And you can hold lots of coca. There we go. Now I've done harvesting the coca, I can go and toggle the pipe and go and put it into uh, the uh, the crop trailer like that and then I'll uh, quickly hop out and then I'll show you what the chocolate milk factory looks like the chocolate milk factory can be purchased for 50,000 which isn't too expensive as you can regain all of your money back very quickly using the method that I'm about to show you uh, you gain as much milk as you can and then go and deposit it into the milk and then get all your coca and deposit it there. To make a chocolate milk, it, you, you, well, you use 25 coca and 10 milk. The milk would be valued at around 3,000 and that amount of coca will be valued around 2,500. So, by getting the machine, uh, times your earnings by about let's say 8% or 4 no 4% four sorry I'm not very good at math the chocolate milk will then automatically be put into a liquid truck here or just put on the ground over there uh, okay let me just hop in and I'll show you I've currently got four chocolate milk as you can see and each one of these chocolate milks will give me about 20,000 at a uh, gray. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly drive to the place and then, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I am now at the place. The chocolate milk is currently at a very, very red price, as you can see. Uh, Normally it's around 19 to 20,000, but this isn't looking good, so I'm definitely not going to sell it. I'm just going to wait a bit. Uh, as you can see, the free range milk you can, can sell you can sell for about 500, and regular you can sell for about 300. But if you've also got the if you're part of the Done Games group, then you get an extra 5% uh, added to your sale price. Over here as well, you can also sell the Coca. Uh, trees I think for a pretty good price so you'll be able to sell it for around a hundred thousand but I would recommend keeping it for the coca seeds which you can use to make the really good chunky milk okay as you can see there a coca seed will cost 50,000 uh, 70,000 uh, coins and then the machine will cost around a hundred and forty thousand Waiting, I want to show you guys there. The wool bundles, you can sell a wool bundle which consists of five wools from a sheep for a good price of about 2600, which I think is very reasonable. Oh, this chocolate milk is never gonna go up, so annoying. This chocolate milk is literally at the lowest of lows possible. Anyway, you can purchase a cow for. 4,500 and you can uh, purchase each food pallet for about $450.
And now I'm back to the waiting game. There we go guys, the chocolate milk has finally gone up. It's at a slightly green price of about 20, 21,000. Uh, give or take, I'd say. So now let's quickly go and sell it for a good price of... Let's see... There we go. The four milks will give me 83,000 for the price. And since I'm a group member, I'll get an extra 4,000 added on, which is pretty cool. There we go, I'll sell. As you can see, the chalky milk is really good, and I strongly recommend you buying cows. See ya, and remember to subscribe and like the video.